Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another sewing vlog and I'm so excited because I've had it cut and ready to make for about two weeks but because of the heat wave that we have had in this country in the UK um, I've been unable to sit in my craft room and sew because it's like a little greenhouse in here. So yeah today I'm going to be making the Tilly and the Buttons Alexa. It's like a romper slash jumpsuit. I'll put a little picture here so you can see what the style looks like and I'm making it in a gorgeous watermelon kind of colour linen which is really really pretty kind of bold and a bit um it's actually quite neon and don't know how I'm gonna feel when it's a full body jumpsuit but just gonna go for it I think it will look really cute so yeah I'm just making my way through the different steps of the pattern kind of prep um it's all cut out I've just done the interfacing and now I'm about to start sewing but I thought I would pick up the camera and do a little vlog um to kind of show you guys how it comes together and what it looks like and stuff. I'll insert some footage in a minute of how I altered the pattern because the last time I made it, um, the body was way too long and I'll insert a picture of um, the first time I made it in a blue linen colour. And as much as I absolutely love it, the fit of the body is too long on me. I've just kind of avoided wearing it because the fit isn't 100% um, how I would want it. I'm learning from that make, that was like the first time I made it, and this time I actually took it up about, I think it was two centimetres in the end, uh, roughly about two centimetres in the body, so I'll insert some footage in a second of how I did that, I didn't speak that day because it was so hot, but I wanted to show as I was cutting it kind of how I did that, um, it's really really easy to do, on the actual bodice itself there's a line that says um, you can extend or shorten, so that's exactly what I did. So before I insert that footage, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I don't know why I did that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to insert my cutting out now. there we go that is how I did the adjustment it was really easy to do all I had to do was follow that line and cut out about two centimeters that I didn't want obviously it will change depending on your body type but I'm quite petite in the body here and then um, yeah and then kind of like longer legs I guess um, I'm about five three for reference in case anyone is wondering as they're watching this um, when you can kind of see the adjustment and how it looks on my body shape and stuff I also haven't remade the adjusted version so I am just going to make it and do some fittings as I'm making it so that it's okay. Obviously if it goes really wrong then I've got some spare fabric and I can recut the body if I need to but I highly doubt that I will need to. I did measure um, how big it was in the body um, so it should be absolutely fine. I've altered all the pattern pieces that I needed to and everything. So. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and make it. So what I've done is I've just done some stay stitching around the pieces, like the front body piece, and I'm going to do it on the back as well. And the next step is to do the pocket. I'm going to add the pocket and I'm going to add the sleeve tab. So I'm going to do all the added extras on this pattern because um, I think it looks really nice, makes it look a bit more expensive. I'm going to go ahead and do the back bodice um, stay stitching and then I'm going to start prepping the pocket. And the pocket last time, if I remember rightly, is just quite fiddly to do and actually probably the longest process out of um, most of this make is the buttonholes in the pocket. So <laughs> once I've done them, you're kind of good to go. Um, I have got my overlocker set up as well because um, it just looks a lot nicer to have it all finished. The actual thread for this fabric, to find the thread that matched, was so difficult. I ended up getting these from Hobbycraft. Um, this one probably matched the most I'll just show you guys um, and this is a random thread that I got from Hobbycraft and this is called Aerofill but 
as you can see, it's tiny and I didn't realise how small it's going to be, so I'm so glad I ordered two of these. Um, and then I've got two backups as well, they're kind of a bit more neon, probably not showing up on camera because neon never tends to. Um, but yeah, they're really, really bright, but they match re really well. So thankfully I've got some cottons, but obviously not enough to, um, you know, to do overlocking and stuff like that, so I'm just going to have to overlock in white. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll let you know how I get on with the pocket when it comes to it, because, uh, yeah, it's quite fiddly. <laughs> Once you have your pockets, we now need to mark where we want the pleats. So I actually did some little snips in the top. Um, so all I need to do is, I think you have to do it wrong side. So wrong side, like that kind of thing. And then the same with the other side. Look around, look around, how lucky you are to be alive right now. Look around, look around. Look at where you are Look at where you started I could you your liar's miracle mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if my child Had a fraction of your smile If I could find you peace of mind Would that be enough? Now I think it looks like this, <laughs> but I'm going to go double check my other Alexa that I made because I actually can't remember and the picture um, for this in the Tilly instructions um, isn't like that clear. You can't like fully make out how big the pleat needs to be. Uh... Ah, I hate pockets. So there is what the pocket looks like. I actually ironed it and then did the pleat like that. It's not as big of a pleat as you think, but it kind of needs to be stitched on so it looks like a square. Um, but anyway, so there's that. And then the next step, I believe, I'll just get all this stuff off of there. I have to do the pocket facings. So it kind of looks like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. You have to finish off one edge. Um, and stitch that on. So I'm going to quickly do that now. Um, it shouldn't take too long. The trickiest bit is just aligning it onto your bodice and making sure it all sits nice and stuff. So, so this part is done. Um, so what you can see is I've just turned that inside out. And all you do once you've stitched it together is I've trimmed the seam allowance back. It's like stitched on. I just turn it in on itself. And I just use like a little pin to get the corners out, just carefully. There we go. So now I'm going to go downstairs and use my iron and just iron this seam allowance. So you need to iron it flat like that. And then it should be ready for the next bit, which is attaching it. Here's the packet, all ironed and ready. So. I'm going to place it on the bodice now, uh, which is the hardest part, um, but it should look good when it's done. Yeah, it's just placement. These pockets just take a while. They're a bit fiddly, but it's worth it because it looks really cute when it's finished. So I've marked on the front in white tailor's chalk where I need to sit the pocket corners. So it's a case of just lining it up to that, that up with that up, and then just make sure it's all flat and pin it all nicely. Um, it can take a while, but I'm just going to Make sure I put lots and lots of pins in there to keep it all in place. Make sure it's all nice and flat. And then you just go ahead and stitch around um, as a top stitch. Hello, I'm sewing with Sam. Has been a while. Hello. It's been a while since we've uh, since I've vlogged and. You've been on it probably a good couple of months, I'd say. Yeah, maybe maybe about a month. I don't know. Yeah, Sam is here. I'm now sewing my pockets, which I was going to do yesterday, and then I had an anxious afternoon, so I stopped sewing. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're all good. So, 
Sam, what are you sewing? I am sewing, um, I've got this pink um, linen gingham. Nice. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know I'm having a pink linen gingham <laughs> um, feel at the moment. And um, I am making the new back and London Tamsin dress, which Ooh. isn't out but the pattern test. Yeah. Um, I've made one already. And I'm making this, um, there's this dress that keeps popping up on my adverts. <laughs> and it's like cute little puff sleeves, a square neckline, and oh, yeah. a great skirt. Yeah. So I'm, I'm making that in this. Oh, that looks so cute. Can't wait to see yeah. it. Um, I'll put Sam's Insta in the description box so you can see. Um, but yeah, I'm doing my little pockets now on my Alexa. And once I'm all pocketed out, I'll go and show you the next bit because... The pockets take forever. <laughs> so here we have the progress. I've sewn the shoulders together and the pockets. I need to sew the buttons on but I'll do that at the end. Um, so yeah, I've got my pockets on and it's looking good. So now I need to do the facing around there. I can see you now. I can so see clearly you now. Like, ah. <laughs> Sam is back. And I shortened the bodies. It's going to be a lot more flattering. Oh, it's so not down by my hips anymore like it was. That colour is amazing. It's so bright. It's kind of like neon. Yeah. With your hair, though, it looks so good. Oh, thanks. Thanks. I love, love, love it. <laughs> thanks so much. <laughs> um, what am I doing now? So the facing is now on and I've stitched in my Happiness is Handmade label which are back in stock so I'll put the link in the description box below. Um, so that's all stitched in and the pockets are done. It's looking rather lovely and then also I just added an extra stitch around the back um, just to keep it all nice and neat. Um, now doing the underarm seams and now that the pockets and the facing's done it's actually super easy to do the rest all we've got to do is stitch down the sides um do my buttonholes and you're kind of nearly there to be honest just got to then do the legs yay Woo! still got sam with me and i got the nice cup of tea as well um sam Hello. how have you made the alexa before i have yeah um thoughts I loved it and it's a, such a cute, comfortable pattern. Mine is like a short version. I do need to yeah. make a longer one for the autumn though, like what Paige is making. Yeah, definitely. Um, but I have worn mine a few times as well, but mine's a very thin cotton. It's like, it's a really cute print though. It's oh, got, like, you did the flower, yeah. flowery one, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, that it's, was really it, cute. It's really cute, but it's um, it's not very warm. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, it's good for hot days and stuff, I think, isn't yeah. it? Um, I'm hoping I'm hoping this one it. isn't too light on, and, like, too see-through, because that's the only issue with linen, I think, sometimes, is that it can be a little bit see-through on the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> so, hopefully it won't be, but... So, the top is pretty much done. Just sewn on my buttonholes, which look looking really cute. And now I need to sit that on top like that and then mark where I need to put my buttons. Now you can sew the buttons in the instructions it says to sew the buttons now before moving forward but actually I'm just gonna sew the buttons when I finished it um, and just crack on but I can kind of see where it needs to sit. I need to make sure that obviously there's enough space for it to go over my hips um, because that's kind of how you get it on and off but what I'll do if it sort of sits like that you can kind of see that it's got a bit of room there um, there's notches as well so you can match up your notches and just make sure it sits nicely and give it a nice pin at the bottom so I'm going to use a little pin so it sort of sits like that and then cool so now what I can do is I can move on to the next stage which is putting a little stitch a little stay stitch there um, before we start making the bottoms to attach them it just keeps this in place um, so what I'll do actually, because I need to obviously take this off, is just mark a pin on that side so that I know where it's going to sit. And then the same for this side, so I know it goes there. So it's a little bit tighter on the top because I've got a smaller bust, I prefer it to sort of go in a little bit. But yeah, so I can go on and do the waistband 
and the bottoms now and attach them. Overlocking the legs. Got one leg down, one leg done, being overlocked. And then I think I'm going to cool it for a day because the next step is to um, attach it together. So what I might do is um, sew the crotch seam together and then iron um, all the legs and then the waistband and then call it a day and then come back and do this another sitting so I'm just getting a bit tired now. Yeah, it's it's pretty easy to make, it's just a lot of little steps um, so it's kind of doable, like for me this is my second session obviously um, sewing and I'll probably need three sessions all together because I'm just a bit too tired to crack on with this bit now and obviously you've got the finishes so like the hems, the cuffs um, the buttons, like all of that, so um, yeah, I definitely think I'll come back to it tomorrow. Hi guys, so today is another day and I am continuing where I left off with the Alexa and today is all about stitching the waistband on and putting the trouser legs onto the bodice. So it's the fun bit really because you can start to fit it to your body and stuff like that and see what it's going to look like. So yeah, I've just gone downstairs to iron my waistband. You have to iron this um, first before stitching it together. So this is the next bit that I need to do today. And I just have to weigh out, uh, lay down the trouser legs um, to put this on. So, so I've got my trouser legs. I haven't really chatted too much in this video as yet because I've been obviously chatting to Sam when I um, was obviously talking to her and stuff the other day, which was really nice. And I quite like to just check in with you guys um, on these sort of videos. This It's just been a bit crazy recently in terms of like work and everything. Um, I feel like I haven't done as much content as I usually do, uh, you know, for Instagram and stuff like that. So um, if there is anything that you want to see me do on here or on Insta or whatever, then please let me know because I always like to have some feedback and sort of see what you guys are enjoying really. If it's my singing then apologies it's not going to be singing today. <laughs> Although I have been singing Hamilton literally non-stop which has been the theme for two or three sewing videos now. <sighs> but yeah, gotta love it. Um, so I'm just going to pin this across and then I'll show you um, sort of how it looks. It's kind of a fiddly, fiddly part of the make really. Um, what are we doing here? I can already see, for some reason, it's not going to fit. <laughs> so what I need to do is adjust it ever so slightly. How much? Let's have a look at that, actually. Where did I go wrong? You lost a friend. Somewhere along in the business then. Did I bring up you all night? Then I know how to say goodbye. Now we can go ahead and sew it. It took me a little while because where I took out the hips a little bit, um, where my notches were, wasn't exact. So I just had to move it over ever so slightly. But this is how it looks. Now I can go ahead and stitch across. Um, stay stitch, ten millimeters. Rather than do a normal stitch, right? Okay, and I'm just going to match up notches from the bodice onto the legs. So this is my first fit test with all of it together. Let's bunch that up. Oh, there we go. Um, so. I'm really pleased with the fit so far. Obviously I haven't got my buttons in, um, so when I've got my buttons in that'll look nice and closed. Um, and then obviously my waist tie, which will bring this all sort of figure hugging around my waist, um, so it kind of gives you a nice shape. And then really it's just the leg length, which um, I'll take it up probably about an inch. I um, don't know if it'll need more than that to be honest. But I absolutely love the longer length, I think it's really cool. Um, so once that's up it'll be nice. 
and then yeah the bum and everything have lots of room so I'm really pleased with the fit so now what I need to do is stitch this down the waistband um, the waist tie is already done and then I just need to do my arms finish off the arms and the legs I've got a little um, like arm tab to, let, to add which will look really cute and then I've got to sew my buttons in and it's going to be done so it's just like little finishing touches really um, obviously got to do this waist and then we're getting there it's really cute I think it's a really nice sort of like loungewear thing just wearing sort of like in the house and you know whatever but it's really cool I'm really pleased um, so I'm going to take it off now and just stitch the waistband on um, and I'll show you the finishing touches as well when it comes to it so here it is you guys here is the finished jumpsuit I'm so happy with it I'll show you some overlays of the full thing because I obviously can't fit it in so you can't see the legs Ooh. But yeah, I absolutely love how it's turned out. I think it's super flattering and cute. And actually the watermelon colour, this like linen colour, um, is a lot nicer than I thought. I was thinking it was going to be really bright and a bit too like garish. But I actually think this pattern is amazing for loungewear. So if you wanted to have something a little bit fancier to wear around the house or um, just for kind of casual days, I think it's perfect for that. And in this kind of linen, it just gives it that kind of dressed down look. Um, and then in terms of the details that I was mentioning, I did my little So Cute label. Let me see if I can tap on there so you can see it. So I've got my So Cute little label on there. And then I went for these really gorgeous pearlescent buttons. And they're vintage little buttons that I picked up from the uh, Stitch Festival. And yeah, overall, I just love it. I think it's super nice and flattering. The, uh, the waist fits like really well because I did that alteration and um, if I take this out I'll show you how it looks obviously without it so you kind of need a little bit of give because obviously this has to be put on over your hips so it's big enough to go over my hips and I took it up in the body because before it was a little bit lower um, and now it's like more near my waist which is good so you kind of get a bit of gather to it but you just want it to look oversized so yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this so along vlog. I really enjoyed making this. It's just such a breeze to make any Tilly Buttons patterns. That's why I talk about them a lot, but it's just because they're so nice to make and they're always really super easy to alter to your size and get the fit right and stuff like that. There's no fussiness with the, no zips or anything. Um, so yeah, absolutely love it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Apologies if I set off your Alexas like a thousand times in the making of this video. Um, yeah, other than that, I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!